I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is I was left unsupervised watching a government auction. The good news is I bought something awesome. I wasn't even planning on buying this and it's big. It's really, really big. Um, hands, diesel, Allen or Skeeter. They have no idea that this is coming. They have no idea what's going on. They're just gonna go to the address, show up, and be responsible for bringing it home, whatever it is. This is gonna be awesome, so let's go tell them. Yo. First off, you just barge in here and say yo? And like, no man now. I mean, it seems like a great way to enter a room. What do you want me to do? Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, Dave. Yo, yo is like a good morning in English. Uh, I need you to go grab that. Hi, Aaron. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, bought something at the auction. Can I got it. No, you cannot open it. You, you have to swear to me it? that that envelope will not Yo. be opened until you arrive at that location. Well, how would we know what to take? Use your best judgment. It's fair sized. Oh, man, we're going to need a bigger trailer. Have we talked about it recently? No, you have no idea what it is. I didn't even know what it was until I bought it. Show me your excitement level. <laughs> well, I started with yo. Yeah. Yo! Yeah, I don't start my mornings off with yo unless that I'm like feeling good. I think we might want the semi. Oh, it's up to you. But it has to be picked up at 10 o'clock and we are 8.52, so... And Hiram, I believe, is what, like an hour away? <laughs> Why can't I snap? Chop, chop. Hey, we better get on the road. This is gonna be awesome. Call me if you have any questions. I have a lot. I have a lot. <laughs> We have questions now. Yeah. Take some stuff, like if you're gonna go recover a vehicle or if you were gonna go like clean out a storage unit or if you were gonna, I would say take a jump box. Um, you can call me later. He's calling me. He's literally calling me right now. See you guys. I don't like the fact that he said, prepare like you're going to recovery or a storage unit. <laughs> it looks like storage units. Oh, you Google Earth it? Well, also right next to it is Hiram Tire. But like, don't you think those look like storage units? If he just bought a ton of tires, no tracks. No. he would buy some pretty cool tires. Well, a rare sighting of Alan without a hat on. Let's not mention it, so we can get a good like visual of him up here. Hi, Alan. Uh, why do you hide your light under a bushel? Jeez, what is that? Main and tail? Yeah. I, my light. What? You have hair. a beautiful head of hair. Why do you always hide under a hat? Well, it gets in my way when I'm working. Do you use mane and tail, or are you a dove cutting guy? No, I just use Tide laundry detergent. Tide with no dyes or perfumes. <laughs> no, I just use Tide laundry detergent. Hold on. Did you say, we're talking about your hair, right? Yes. And everything. Hands, everything. Tide laundry detergent. Yes, it's the free, the, the gentle, the Tide Gentle has no dyes, no perfumes. It's just straight. You want to know Alan uses in his hair? I already know. What? Tide laundry dirt. Dyes are perfumes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. It works great. It'll, it cleans everything. It, it works so much better than anything else. You don't have old. Let's just let's really just tell Bud to just bring his truck trailer. Why don't we just all hop in with Bud? Because if the thing is any bigger than two by two, it's not going to fit. Well, he's bringing the trailer. I know. Let's just tell him. We'll just, so we don't <laughs> we'll just have him bring the truck and trailer in case there's more items or... The deck isn't attached up there. I mean, it's supposed to be like a dump, I think. Well, we're just loading up a trailer to pick up some mystery items or items. Where do you want to sit? Let's we'll see what real power's like. Pull forward a little bit more, bud. Stop, 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 stop. The bird mouth, bud! Dang it, next time! Bud, what do you hope is in the storage unit? Ranger. This episode of uh, MTV Whips 
We got Bud's Ranger. What year is this Ranger, Bud? 01. 01? How long have you had it? Uh, two years. Two years. How many miles? Probably, I know you're running that clock back. Yeah, uh, probably like 400. Really? 1,000, yeah. How much money have you dumped into it? 2,500 bucks. How many of that is lights? Probably 2,400 bucks? Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, he was nice enough to clean it out for me, so. A little bit. Jeez, I, stay I, on the road, Bud. cookies back seat also known as the trunk bags of mountain dew listen this thing's tricked out doritos light bars Bro. stickers stickers off his hat good amount of keys air freshers white star mint this thing has got us out of more pickles than anything else we own <laughs> bud and i have knocked on the office door didn't get a hold of anybody and we were just driving around, there's nobody here. But Bud saw, what did you see, an Aerostar? Aerostar. Four wheel drive Aerostar. Four wheel drive Aerostar. You're hoping that's what we're getting. I hope. So we just slowly open this then? Yeah, we need to open it, because I think that'll probably just say like, your unit's six, two, four, eight, you nine. Think that's a check for each of us. It's a year subscription to the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh man, we're gonna need a bigger trailer. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger trailer. That's not it. There's no way to That's a s. That's a s. Hold on. No. That's an s. 12 by 6 from the Charlie Mixer truck. Did he watch us leave with these trailers and say, yeah, that should do it? <laughs> You'll be alright. Someone's gonna have to drive it. Not it! We're calling him. Yeah, we're calling yeah. Sparks. Hey, buddy. Okay, explain to us what you've done. Yeah. Oh. Is he laughing Hold yet? On. Is he laughing? I don't understand. What do you mean? Do you mean to give us the paper to a concrete mixer? Did you watch me leave with a 30 foot trailer and say, yeah, that'll fit a, a mixer truck? Look, I'm, not, I'm just the idea guy. But where is this supposed to be at? Huh? Oh, oh it's, uh, I gave you the wrong address so you wouldn't Google it. It's right around the corner. Oh my what gosh. It's right around the corner, he uh, says. Uh, Dave, I thought I was picking up an Aerostar, an all-wheel drive yeah, Aerostar. That's been you got me excited. Because there's an Aerostar in the snow drift. And he thought he... Oh, man. Okay. They, they, got it. they know you're coming and the truck drives, so... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, All right, thanks. Bye. Alright, I got the pin. Yes, I am. There we go, Dave. <laughs> Dave, nice to meet you. Good to meet okay. you. How are you? Doing great. Dave didn't tell us what we we're picking up. He just gave us an address that come on up. Yeah. He's like, take whatever you think you might need to load something up. <laughs> we're like, what are we loading up? He's like, can't tell you. So we got one little trailer, one medium-sized trailer. So you're gonna. And yeah, now we're not gonna use either trailer, I guess. Gonna, you're no. not gonna load those. Unless there. there's accessories that come with it. Right on. <laughs> right on. No, I mean, it is what it is. I yeah, mean, love it. Does it start, run, what is, anything it you know about it? It should start right up, I believe. I, it may not have been run for a little while, but... Is it one of the six that are all along the back? It would be It would be right behind the shop. It's over, over here. here. Okay. So Pick it up, drive it away now? Take it away, man. All right, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. So the keys are in it? Keys, keys are, are in, in it. it. <laughs> Hey, what? Hey, hey, you're gonna break it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at it. We got something already loaded up. Who cares about the? We'll take. I'll take that. It's fun. <laughs> All right, two, four, four. What was it? That number, item number, right there. So they got a decimal. Two four three four four two four four. Yeah. Thirty nine point two four four. Two four four. Right. I guess. Two, four, four. My question is why? <laughs> Are we supposed to like put water in it, jump inside, and have like a rotary water party?
Dude, I'll drive it home. You know what that hey, means? Hey, attention, attention driver. Whoever, whoever that is. It's full of cement. This truck has not been dumped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just so you know, you're gonna be kind of heavy going home. Oh wow. Oh, man. <laughs> I got my jump box right there if we need it. We need some. What about some ether? All right. Straight to Cerro Gordo? Man. It makes sense why he bought it. We made good money on the last one and we used it at Cerro Gordo a bunch. I didn't know he made money on it. We can't move it with it frozen. So it, hopefully it'll warm up and uh, start working or we have to like get something to uh, warm it up. It's off the beach, we gotta bring it up. You don't have to have them up to drive, you just gotta have a, can't be having a tire flopping around like that. What up, bud? What's the plan here? I have no idea. Putting air in the tires, I think, and then rolling out. What are you doing? Eating some mini Doritos and a can. One now is uh, check tire pressure on everything. Make sure we can get those axles to raise, because as of right now, we don't need all the axles on the ground. So, the less tires on the ground, the better we are. Probably you've already seen what it is by now. It's a cement truck. It's actually a mixer truck. In fact, people get so pissed off when we call it a cement truck or a concrete truck. So I'm just gonna call it a mixer truck because apparently there's a lot of drama in that world. But listen, this right here, you actually might look familiar because we had one just like this that we took down to Cerro Gordo to help Brent uh, pour the footings and foundation for the hotel. Well, uh, as I said earlier, I was online looking at the government auctions, the public surplus stuff, and uh, this guy caught my attention. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't need a cement truck. I don't have any cement to pour right now. What do you think? I just want to know the reasoning why, because if you don't have cement to pour, then I don't know why you buy a cement truck. Was it a fun surprise? It was, it was, it was good actually, but it was like the lady- right now, this, they, they did not know, you didn't the know. The lady, you picked the sketchiest storage yard for us to try to knock on too because there wasn't like an office there was a house and it was just it was awkward good. but it was i mean i'm glad it was a good awkward. surprise I'm glad it was awkward. so this is an oshkosh uh, mixer truck it's uh it's a big boy too seven axle and uh i figured in this video we would show you guys how to make money buying stuff from the auctions so i've got a couple different options and i gotta talk with the guys obviously this is a truck that we could just turn around and sell we sold our last one for 
15, 16. Um, we got it a little bit cheaper because I had a crack in the frame. I paid 11 grand for this one, all said and done with auction fees and everything. Uh, locally, there's three or four trucks that are very similar for sale, anywhere between 18 and $30,000. So maybe we could sell it quickly on the classifieds, but since there's already some of these on the market right now, we're not gonna be able to get top dollar because obviously there's one for like, you know, 18 grand that somebody could go buy right now. So I don't think I wanna sell it as a mixer truck. I think what I want to do is take it to Moab. All right. What? Let's go rock crawl on it. These we, things are... Can we take the... Because there's a note and it says the bed is still full of cement. Oh, really? Did you know that when you bought it? Nope. Yeah, it actually, the note's right there. What's it say? Caution driver. Is that why they sold it? Because it, it froze up on them? <laughs> it still spins. Huh. But he says it's not full. He says it's crushed in there. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, that would be a nightmare anyways, cleaning the bed, these things out when concrete firms up inside that tank. Not fun. Would but what I think I want to do. Thing on? Huh? Would you rock crawl it with that on? Or I kind of want to take it like this. Cut that in half and put some water in there for me to slosh around I, in. Trust me. I've, all ideas that I've thought through and I want to do it, but I want to kind of take it and rock crawl it just as is to see what it does. Maybe we'll change the tires out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Basically, one thought that I had was we take off the entire mixer barrel and we turn it into like a 20 seat rock crawler. Put a bunch of seats back there in a big cage. Picture this thing like the ultimate safari machine. That came out weird, safari machine. I understood it. The reason why I'm excited about this truck is because it's an amazing platform for literally anything. I also have been scheming up different ways to potentially use the mixer turntable barrel you know, take it and tip it up and cut the barrel and make it a rotating hot tub, but we've already done the big hot tub thing, so uh, I don't know. A lot of different options. You pull the whole thing off and put a recovery crane on there, put a bunch of winches on it, put some big floater tires on it. How many hogs could we, like, cook at once? Oh, like a rotisserie. Yeah. I bet you that's a 40 hog hopper. <laughs> a 40 hog hopper rotator? Yeah. Put a imagine, fire just, under there. imagine just rotating, just cooking hogs. Step one, we're going to show you how off-road capable this truck is, how off-road capable these mixer trucks are in general. Um, out here in Utah, almost all of the mixer trucks are front discharged. So the concrete comes off the top um, out in front of the cab. They are also six wheel drive. So the front axle drives, which is what makes this truck so valuable. Um, that axle and that transfer case is really expensive, way more than 11 grand. Nice big Cummins engine, and it drove down here. No problems. So I think we're gonna take it to Moab. We might go somewhere closer. I don't know, it's winter right now, so we gotta go somewhere south where there's a little bit better uh, weather. Might show up to Matt's off-road uh, Wrecker Olympics in a couple of weeks and just put this guy in. You guys tell me, what do you wanna see done? I'm pretty sure I wanna go the rock crawler route, take all that stuff off and put some seats back there. I bet you we could sell this thing for 30, 40 grand if we put a roll cage and some seats in it. And see, I just, I love these trucks. So that's, I just wanted it. Now. New purchase? Yeah. It makes make sense. What? Moab. You're gonna make a rock crawler for Moab? Yeah, I think so. 